Based on my studies, when there is a mass defect, there is a conversion of the missing mass into an ultrafine, extremely thin, form of matter. Conversely, when there is a mass gain, there will be an absorption and conversion of the ultrafine matter into ordinary matter, resulting in a mass gain. This discovery has led me to many significant conclusions, providing new insights into what could potentially be dark matter and dark energy as well. Mass defect is a universally occurring phenomenon. For example, it occurs in active stars, supernova explosions, colliding neutron stars, merging black holes, and other similar events. This leads to the conclusion that space is filled with this form of matter. I prefer to call it ether. Since ether is a form of matter, it is subject to gravitational attraction. Therefore, every massive body in the universe will be surrounded by a dense region of ether, with the density higher near the body and decreasing with distance. This dense region exhibits an optical property, causing the speed of light to vary as it passes through. As a result, light can be refracted, which helps explain phenomena such as gravitational lensing and the bending of starlight. This dense ether region surrounding massive bodies can also account for the precession of the perihelion of Mercury's orbit around the Sun and the orbital behavior of S2 stars near the galactic center. Due to etheric friction, the speed of an orbiting star will not be proportional to its mass. The presence of high-density ether near the galactic center means that stars in close proximity experience more etheric friction. Therefore, to determine the mass of the galactic center, we need to consider the mass and speed of the farthest star from the galactic center. In fact, when estimating the actual mass of the galactic center, it will likely be much greater than the currently estimated 4 million solar masses. This can provide an explanation for the location of dark matter, or unobserved matter in the Milky Way. As ordinary matter is converted into ether universally, the exploded missing matter from each star in a galaxy and each galaxy in the universe pushes against each other, countering the force of gravity between them. This can help explain the expanding universe or dark energy. For more information about my theories, please refer to my book and videos.